Chapter 29 I let out a shriek. I watched the page float out over the ledge. I watched it fly up and start to drop. It's lost, I realize. The second verse is lost forever. The swirling wind will carry it down the mountain, down the steep drop. It will never be seen again. And then I cried out again as the wind carried the page up, up, back up, and into my hand. I grabbed it out of the air. I stared at it in amazement, and before anger I could grab it back, I raised the page to my face and started to read the second verse of the rhyme out loud. When the snows melt and the warm sun is with thee, beware the snowman. No! Angretta wailed. She dove toward me. With a desperate swipe, she pulled the page from my hand and ripped it to shreds. The snowman uttered a horrified groan. Arrgh! He bent, reached out to grab on Greta. Too late. The jagged strips of paper fluttered to the snow. And Greta, why? I choked out. I couldn't let you do it, she replied. He's a monster, Jacqueline. He's not your father. I couldn't let you free him. She's lying, the snowman insisted. She does not want you to know me, Jacqueline. She doesn't want you to know your own father. She wants to leave me trapped in this frozen cave forever. I turned back to my aunt. Her face had grown stern and hard. She stared back at me coldly. I took a deep breath. Aunt Greta, I have to know the truth, I told her. I've told you the truth, she insisted. I have to know for myself, I replied. I I saw the last line of the poem before you grabbed it and tore it up. I know the whole poem, Aunt Greta. Don't, my aunt pleaded, reaching out to me. But I backed up against the icy cave wall and recited the rhyme from memory. When the snow smell and the warm sun is with thee, beware the snowman, for the snowman shall go free. No, Jacqueline, no, 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 and Greta wailed. She pressed her hands to the sides of her face and repeated her cry. No, no, no. I turned to the snowman and saw him begin to melt. The white snow oozed down his face and body like melting ice cream. The black eyes dropped to the snow. The face melted, melted onto the body. The snow poured off the round body. The tree branch arms flooded heavily to the ground. Slowly, his real face came into view. Slowly, his body emerged from under the snow. I stared as the snow dripped away, and then I opened my mouth in a shrill scream of horror.